Oh, I do. I just love how God works, y'all. I was literally sitting out here just now, just took my shower, oh, my hair's poking out, when I was compelled to open my Bible. And what my eyes landed on, um, yeah. Here, let me show you. Acts 19, I started to read about how um, the Holy Ghost flooded folks that were baptized and they began to prophesy and to speak tongues. Then my eyes were led down to Acts 19, 11, 12. But then I was led to Acts 19, 11, 12. And God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul so that his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons and the diseases departed from them and the evil spirits went out of them. Let's repeat that. Paul put his hands on the people that were sick and the diseases departed from him and the evil spirits went out of them. That makes a lot of sense now, doesn't it? Disease, uh, the human language. It's very clear that they mock us by telling us the truth. Disease, dis-ease. Where do you find ease? Through the Holy Spirit, right? Where do you find <laughs> a place of no ease? Demonic. Demonic entities, attachments, oppression. That is that gnawing pit of anxiety. In fact, if you suffer from anxiety or depression, my beautiful friend, well, it is far more than a diagnosis or a medical condition. No, it is an entity, a demonic entity attached to you. But that's not really all that this is about, okay? As I do in my true anti-fashion, I started to think about the word disease. Went, looked those things up, and then I thought, hmm, Gemantria calendar, calendar, calculator. I'm tired today. I didn't get much sleep. If you're not familiar with the Gemantria calculator, I use it all the time. I love it because words, well, they have a significant numerology or numbers behind them, and... Uh, well, let's just say it's a very, very helpful and useful decoding of certain things. And boy, oh boy, am I glad that I did trust the spirit and I went this route because, hmm, oh, what I discovered. Right there, smack dab on the very first search, I'm fallen angel. Hmm, demon, disease, right? There's one spine, empath, demonic being. But that word, for some reason, it stood out to me. No, like it was screaming off the page. I'd never seen this word before and I didn't know what it was. So, oh, Auntie did it. She took off her towel and put on her thinking cap and we went to Google. And my friends at Google search led me to a castle that is called Balmoral and uh, a certain royal family owns it. And then that search took me, well, smack dab to my art. This is Balmoral. It is in Edinburgh, Scotland and is owned and has been since the beginning of it, since it was built by the royal family. Kind of has a creepy little vibe to it, doesn't it? Ball moral. That just screams to me too. Ball, moral, evil, moral. Huh. What a very strange name to, well, I guess not if you're the royals. Yep. There it is, my friends, ball moral, right? But Auntie, how could a Bible verse about disease land you over onto a gematria that would land you over to demonic entities and then Balmoral? Oh, something just flew. Well, I must be onto something because something just flew like two feet over off the wall in my garage. Hmm. I digress and I rebuke. Well, I did a lot better than <laughs> that when I wasn't recording. Oh, where was I? Clearly irritating the the devil. But, um, so landed me on Balmoral, a castle in Scotland that I had no idea that the royal family owned. And I, well, being me wanting to know, what does Balmoral mean? That definition jogged my memory. I thought, I've seen that somewhere. That thing that it's describing, I swear I've drawn that. But where? I digress. Balmoral, a laced boot or shoe. Huh. Y'all, that jogged my memory. Like I said, I was like, wait, wait, wait. I've seen that on my art. I don't think I finished it, but I remember seeing it. And you'll never, well, I, you might guess just exactly where and which door and, well, not too far from who. That said boot with laces. Well, it might be. Let's go see. Oh, that's right. My friends on Judgment Day, smack dab square landing in, well, there it is, hell. Not too far from the, oh, the king with this scepter. Right there, the uh, reptilian of sorts. I don't know, like a king who might be related and famously and excitedly and happily to Vlad the Impaler. 
Dracula's uh, inspiration. In fact, the king, he uh, claims to have quite a stake in Romania himself, living there a couple of times a year, living in his own little oh, castle-like getaway in Romania. You got the Antichrist, whose face is not to be revealed yet. The old false prophet, hand in the uh, forehead, putting the old mark of the beast. But where, oh, where did I see that boot? <gasps> oh, that's right, right there. Can you see it? It's faintly there because I hadn't finished it. I'd kind of forgotten about it. Right there. The boot comes out to here. And it goes back. And you can see the laces. Huh, not too uh, far from that fella now, is it? Balmore. Well, maybe now that boot down in hell makes a little bit more sense. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting what one Bible verse and a Google search and a Jumantra calendar calculator later where that can land me? Remembering a piece of my art I have yet to finish. I guess I better lace up my boots and get that done.